assistive technology to understand better from her personal experience what assistive technology means. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, ministers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Raisa Laurel Sibihano, a law student and a bilateral amputee from the Philippines. I'm 26 years old and I currently live in Manila with my husband, Ray. Let me share to you my story. I was an ordinary girl who just wanted to be someone who could change the world when a tragic incident happened. It was in 2010 when I was in my second year in law school. I was standing outside McDonald's Half Avenue, Manila, waiting for my friends who took the bar examination. I didn't know that they would change my life. Unexpectedly, something exploded. Police say it was a hand grenade. That same day, September 26, 2010, I lost both my legs. I'll never forget that day after the explosion, I was lying on the floor when I saw a vision from God and I was entering entering a courtroom on a wheelchair. I believe it was a sign from him that I will be never I will never be able to walk again using my own feet. But I told myself at least I will still become a lawyer. You can see my pictures there um, during my therapy. Uh, I was fighting for my life. They said that time I had 20% chance of survival due to blood loss. It was a painful decision for my dad to sign the form allowing the doctors to amputate both of my legs. Life overlived, as the doctors would say. My parents were thinking, how will I accept it? What will happen in my life? The next day, I woke up. I knew that I lost both my legs. But I never gave up. I believe I still have a purpose in this world. That's why I'm still alive. And I'm still here in front of you. I always set goals. My first goal was to be able to stand again. There. That was my. That, that was the first time I tried my prosthesis. I was successful, of course, with the help of my doctor this year. We'll speak earlier, Dr. Penny Bundo. Then on to my next goal, which is to be able to walk again. I was really blessed because Mr. Yo Yohei Sasakawa of Nippon Foundation, through their collaboration with the Philippine School of Prosthetics and Orthotics, sponsored my prosthesis, that one which I'm wearing right now. With the efforts of Mr. Carson Hart and Ms. Helen Crane of Cambodia Trust. In less than six months, I was out of my wheelchair, used my prosthesis, and walked again. Like nothing happened. It wasn't easy, it was frustrating at the start because it was really hard to train, to, to go to rehab. You don't know where your center of, gra center of gravity was. It was baby steps, but eventually I got there. Two things got me up and walking. First is that my belief that I have a purpose, and second, my prosthesis. I believe that everything is still possible, although someone lost a part of his or her body. With the use of assistive technology, in my case, my prosthesis, I'm now back in my physical activities, such as running. Wait, there's the picture of running. <laughs> Let's wait for my pictures. There, I, that was our wedding uh, last December. There, I'm back in my physical activity such as running, boxing, and working out. With assistive technology, I'm doing everything I want to do. I'm not constrained. Let us make it happen that the said assistive technology would be available and affordable to everyone. To help people, to restore their confidence, to never give up on life, but continue living it. This week, I celebrate with you all my third birthday as a person with disability. Two years ago, I could not have imagined being here. It is my fervent hope that every Filipino with disability who needs assistance and assisted device can afford a good quality, well-fitted, and functional device that will improve their lives. That's why I'm so excited to stand here at the UN and I'm able to ask you all, let's make this possible, not just in the Philippines, but in every country in the world. Good afternoon. Thank you.